we like to be doing this, which you do, for my first ever Friday video. Now, if you've seen that introduction, you'll know that Fridays are game days, where I'm playing games with you all. And today's game is another one that I mentioned in the intro. Uh, if you're paying attention, then you may have been able to predict that today's game is Salt and Sanctuary, a uh, 2D Souls like platformer. Uh, which I have played through once before, but I'm not particularly good at it. So, this will be a nice introductory mix between a blind playthrough and a skilled playthrough. I won't be struggling, hopefully, I won't waste time getting stuck in areas, but also since I've only played it once and it was a long time ago, I'll likely have forgotten most of the mechanics of the game. So, a little bit of freshness to do with that. Anyways, uh, it's nice to see you all. Let's head straight into the game. Hello, and welcome to the game. We are currently at the Sultan Sanctuary menu. Um, that's games on the start, and we're about to head in. So, new game. What is my name? Oops, not cancel creation. Sorry, I've been playing on, on different consoles recently, so messed up which buttons are A, which are B. Uh, hopefully, that won't do too much. Um, let's see, let's not spend too much time on character creation. Let's see if we can maybe recreate me. Um, I do remember of Salt and Sanctuary that there's a limited amount of customization options um, compared to a game like Dark Souls, which has all those sliders. But I think it's fine. It, uh, that time you ran with genre doesn't particularly matter. Um, I am um, purple. Switch weapons, or switch weapons, excuse me. 
So, actually, what I'm going to do, just to start out, is I'm going to remove some of this armor. Um, probably not all of it, just enough so that I can roll easier. Because I do enjoy being able to roll a decent speed. Can I roll with these two? Yeah, I can. So, gloves and chest plate, let's go with that. Break these bills. Oh, he's a <laughs> Oh, you there, stranger. With the important in the night. They'll they'll want to kidnap our lady. Ransom her. Protect her and then Oh, jeez. That's not one of that. Already. Already a, a good skin showing for you, huh? Let's see if I can't roll into here. Oh, roll out of there, I guess now. I should uh, do something more guarding, probably, too. And uh, heavy attacks. Oh, and uh, apparently, if I hit them while they're blocking this up um, and break through it enough. Force, I can stagger them, which is nice to know. So let's take a red shard for now. Oh, let's see how much that health goes up because if I recall correctly, this is a boss, and my goal for this, for this session is to get us to the end of the first uh, dungeon, I guess, to the end of the first boss. Um, and we'll, we'll cut off there, so hopefully that won't take too long. This guy doesn't count. I doubt I'll be able to fight you, especially when I'm so rusty. But, uh, let's go. Ooh. I have to roll twice to get around him. Ooh. Oh, there we go. That's that. <laughs> I, I believe that he can one shot me with all of his attacks. So, I got greedy. The film this mission will show you how just into darker days. I wrote to the sounds of waves washing on rock that I knew my girl wanted us to find the princess. Sorry, I missed miss the last words on that last message. Um, too busy talking. <laughs> I'll, I'll try not to do that in the future. I know that sometimes it's annoying uh, like to watch someone play and feel the dialogue, but I'm trying my best to do as much of the dialogue as possible. Well, hello there. Just a flashy bit of flotsam, wash ashore with the rest of us. You want shelter? You want sanctuary? What is the sanctuary without faith? There's an empty sanctuary of old people. Beach, excuse me, you can claim it for the Tell me, do you keep the new gods? No. You don't keep the new gods? No. So are you pulled up to bar? Your sword's been dying out for some trees, I'm afraid. I guess if I can guess, it will tell us what they do, so I should probably do that. Followers of the goddess of life worship to Vara, deity, humility, kindness, and forgiveness. The claim is perhaps the oldest thing, though this could be a consequence of its clerics and its ridiculous marriage. Are you a pilgrim of Javara's light then? No. No? What was your creed then? So, I believe the three are the old ones, the sequel to Scarlet. Most of them follow the three deities, the king, the knight, and the judge. The king lends wisdom to that queen, the knight protects warriors in combat, and the judge guides those who maintain order. Are you a follower of the three then? No, let's go with the, uh, iron, the iron ones. Men from the mountains of the world come to men of Markdor, the iron ones. They believe in no gods, meaning instead the iron will of man. They love steel, but hate magic. And remember the iron ones then? Since I'm going to go for a strength, strength dual wielding type build, I think this is going to be the best one for us to go through this time. And I don't believe it matters that much, especially in the early game, but we'll just do it for flavor. Remember the iron ones then? No gods will hurt you here. Except this metal icon. Oh, oops, wrong button. <laughs> so now we have this metal icon. Can I go? No, I can't go up there. 
Neither of the controls. Roll, I already figured that one out. There we go. Open the chest. Sanctuary key. That was always useful. Switch the arrows to the LB. Switch items to the arrows. RB is to use the crypt item. I figured that out. Inventory is select. And open door with the sanctuary key. And here I've already got my icon ready, so I can claim this sanctuary. And now as you can see in the top right corner, or top left, excuse me, I now also have three holy bowls. Uh, right next to the, to the red thing there, you can see the little uh, metal icon. Uh, these are basically our Estus flasks for the game. They are our reusable healing items. Whenever I use a red shark, those are gone forever, but every time I come to a sanctuary, all my party goals will refill. So that's always nice. Um, I don't believe I have any skill points or anything to offer, but I can try to level up. Uh, if I remember what the right button is, no, I can't, but don't have enough salt. Uh, so, as you may have seen, when I defeat my enemies or open chests or sometimes even break these barrels, you'll see these little sparkly things come out. Those are salt. Um, so just about red shard and a pouch of salt. Uh, pouches are items filled with salt that you can use. Um, you'll see later probably when I die uh, what the pouches are good for. Then you hope to use eggs. Okay, so these are the uh, this is a user created as it is. We're into the multiplayer activity of our games. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I just needed the right bumper in order to attack. Oh, I'm not very good at this anyway. I keep using the right bumper to attack, and then that just consumes my items. So that's a, an unfortunate heroes up there. But right, let's not be one of them, The Festo Banquet. So yeah, when these enemies excuse me, I'm joking right. Um, when these enemies die, they drop two currencies. One is gold and one is salt. Uh, gold I'll be able to use later. Uh, again, didn't mean to press that. I wish I'll get used to this. Uh, gold is used to purchase items and uh, eventually, I believe, is not great with people in the sanctuary once I have people in the sanctuary. And salt is used to, to level up myself. Um, if you've ever played a soul slip game before, salt is basically the souls of the game. Uh, with blood echoes for blood flow and other currencies like that. Um, basically, when I die, if I die, well, I imagine I'll die sometimes in this game. Maybe if I, if I pull up no death one after not playing this for years, I'll be very surprised. Um, excuse me. Uh, so when I die, my salt will be left at, at the location where I die, and some of my gold will be taken. So the purpose of pouches, for instance, is to give me a supply of gold that I just always have. Um, as you can just see, I picked up a stone merchant. That means I can bring that back to my sanctuary as an offering and get a merchant in my base who will then sell me items, which is nice. Torch, stone daggers. Um, so yes, pouches are supplies in the Salt that I basically can just have on hand and pouches won't disappear when I die, um, which is always good. But uh, versus salt that I have on me, as you can tell in the lower left hand corner, that won't disappear if I die, or at least we put the ink onto that. Uh, gold won't appear on the map, but will be, it does cost a little to survive. Um, I only, I only vaguely 
Like, if it, if it looks like I'm doing a really efficient path, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm only vaguely out of use. I need to remember to actually dodge these things instead of face to the people because I don't have much health. Or I, don't, I don't currently have enough health to afford taking everything face first. Um, but anyways, I don't actually know where I'm going per se. I'm kind of just wondering. Um, wherever it feels good, I guess. Jenny's problem? Okay, that's a problem. 
So if I, if I use, if I use a journey bottle now, um, where did my inventory go? Oh, oops. <laughs> it's not pressed up right. Um, journey bottle. If I use that, oh, never mind. That's a, that's a soap stone. So this is, I, I can read messages with like this. So if I do, like, Let's say I want to save 50 HP or something like that. Would I be able to? And if you use. No, there's no victory. Um, how about. Wonderful. Wonderful blessings. Let's just go with that. A good uh, positive message for anyone who manages to beat this boss. We'll leave that there for a and it disappears and goes to Smosy World. So, um, I guess we'll just have to walk back because I don't believe I have any items that I will teleport back. Oh, my Jesus, Rosie. Oh, it crashed. Okay. Oh, we're back. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, my game actually crashed just now. So let's see where it drops me off. Ah, just a just a spot. So I believe. Does this mean I have to fight the boss again? That's unfortunate. Um, yes, it does. Because that item is my Christian Blaster. So let's go. You'll be able to, even though I won, you'll be able to see me. Fight this guy again, because apparently uh, my game <laughs> crashed before I could get back. I was just climbing down the ladder, and uh, yeah. But now I'm in all smooth, so maybe I'm better than I Oh, no, actually, I'm getting worse. Um, again, with the overconfidence, I guess. Oh, that's not. Okay. When he does light attack, or it stops through. Oof. Am I dead? No, I'm not. I'm just going to go this Okay, so everything, I think to note about this, especially since I'm playing it as a heavy weapon, everything does take a while to use. So healing takes a decent amount of time. I need to really wait for an opening to heal. When I attack, there's a certain window of time after the attack where I just can't dodge. Um, like I probably saw that in my first fight a bit, where uh, I'll get hit by attacks immediately after I do an attack. That's because there's like a period of a second or so, or half a second after I attack where I can't dodge. But anyways, we managed to beat him twice, so that's good. Two for two. Um, this time I'll head back down and hopefully not crash. Down, down, save just in case. And let's see if we can find our way out of here. So, he's doing a key, right? So I think that key should be able to open this door. When I was locked earlier? Yes, it does. Fortress key. Excellent. Greetings, traveler. Do you have a quest? Yes, I do. Rescue a princess, hmm? I haven't seen any princesses, but don't lose your friend. Anyway, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? Again. Excellent. My quest is to invade that castle to the east, defeat its guardians, and slay the dragon. Castles must be invaded, and dragons must be slain, isn't it? It seems all the way up. Black pearl. Those ones I used to. Myself, if I were to burn me. Yeah, and drop down with the little stick in the air. So, this leads into Bandit's Pass. Oh, another sanctuary. That's nice. Hello, hey, traveler. Your stranger to Devara's life, are you not? Yes. Your pilgrim is the goddess Devara, illuminator of all. Without light, there is nothing. It is said the darkness, in darkness, chaos dwells, and in chaos there is no hope. Every night the sun sets, and we see the light flicker. 
and candles or torches. But the dawn of the next day is her blessing. Chaos is calm, order is restored. So this guy, I believe, is just a merchant. Those who do not follow Devar are still welcome in the sanctuary. We will see to it that you, that you receive rest and resupply. Pray to Devar at the earth of the vessel. The water she pours will cleanse the shadows from her heart. So I guess you won't talk to me until I've activated this show. So let us do that. So take oath would be to convert myself to Devara, I guess. Um, which I imagine would not go over well in my standing in the, uh, in the Iron Woods. But I haven't really, I haven't really done anything for them anyway, so I'm not sure I could. Strength things through 
collapses until eventually I get up here. That sounds good to me. Done. And as you can see in the top left corner again, uh, my item has changed. Has changed. My healing item has changed from the uh, bread of uh, ironworms to now the water flessing up to farm. So that's because I arrested it in some sure. The festering banquet. This is in the basement, it looks like. Because I'm underneath the bridge now. Oh, this is the this is the crown floor of the festival banquet. So I don't need to go here particularly. Um, let me see. It's down here. I'm a little salt in a soldier spear. It's like I used that spear now, but it dropped it. Hello, friend. Trinkets to someone, trinkets to me. It's top to me. Friend does not be a thing. I've gathered it in this trinkets, trinkets and such. Trinkets to gold, that's what I got. Trinkets to coin. See what trinkets he has. A lock of hair, they can use to upgrade weapons, and an endless fang. Which it doesn't say what that's used for. But its lifespan must somehow reach back to the ancient things. Far beyond that, I'm so interested. Um, I've got money to spare, so it's by some blocks of hair. Do I have a silver blacksmith? I believe so. Where did you end up here? I said, wait, really some trinkets and tear here, trinkets for coin. So poor, man. A kind of wealthy party. Even beggars like me have got men servants there, they say. Stood away, sailed to them, a storm. So he was on the same home as me? Or is this island just surrounded by storms? I assume I would know if he was on the same boat as me, so it must just be not gonna have some time again. It must just be this island wherever we are is covered in storms a lot. So that he also suffered the same fate as me, but uh, on a different boat up the lake beneath. Interesting. So again, as per usual, so that I can hit my bats, they're kind of hard to see. Unless I can come through the floor, too. Cheers. Um, as per usual, I don't have a particular objective from where we're going. Ah, so this is back where I'm supposed to be. It's convenient. So if I go here, and I believe if I make an offering, yes, I can put my stone statues here, and I have so many people. Nice. Okay, so we've got here our merchant, our blacksmith, our cell sword, and we hear it's kind of guide. So guides should be able to, to take me to other places where I have guides, which I don't want to see, so that's not useful to me right now. And we can sell me a color form, which is the, the, um, the homeward bow. It will take me back to one of these sanctuaries if I need to for emergency. And the cell sword will, uh, if I hire him, he'll travel with me. If I can ride with him, he can of wrath. Uh, crushing him to initiate PvP with my companion. Well, I don't have a companion, but I don't intend to be playing multiplayer much, so probably won't need to use that. And the merchant. I can glide from him healing, needs fire pots, pitch fire, which pitch fire and shock stone both uh, enchant my weapon with an elemental ability, different types of arrows, animation, torches, salt pouches, dragon's teeth, an antidote for poison, and a bell of return. Uh, so the bell of return returns me to a sanctuary that I most recently visited. 
which I suppose means that the culling horn returns me just to the sanctuary with a guide, perhaps even the sanctuary of my choice. Interesting. And is there anything to sell for me? Not particularly. I can sell a bow and a pitchfork, I don't use any of those. Strength stand. So actually, let me see. Uh, okay. As I was gonna say, so when it comes to using a spear, which I probably will want to um, eventually, the soldier spear it looks like has a very poor scaling, which means that when I have higher strength and dexterity, um, the weapon will become useless faster. Uh, versus the pitchfork, which you can see has strength scaling and dexterity scaling, very good with both of them. Um, whereas the soldier spear has a B and a C rating, but it has a higher base attack, which means it'll be good starting out better. Anyways, um, I believe my hammer is still better than both of them. Let's see. My morning star. Simple weapon consisting of a wooden shaft, armed with a spike iron head. So, yeah, it's got good strong scaling, it's got good damage, it's superior to all the spear that I've ever made. Can you see a second? What can I buy from the. This is Paxis. So, I don't particularly want to upgrade anything until I've got a good spear. And currently, the spears I do have aren't as good as my hammer, so I won't be upgrading anything right now. Also, considering I'm here and I've completed the right objective of defeating the first boss, that means it would be a good time to wrap it up for today. Um, just as a little quick introduction to Souls and Sanctuary, um, I will be revisiting this game in the future. I can see as, as far as I can get into it, perhaps play can be a better thing. Um, I probably won't be playing through this exclusively. I'll be alternating with other games just so it doesn't get stale. But I promise that eventually I will complete this entire game. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I also hope that it will help any technical difficulties and that uh, on the introduction my uh, tracking was working so well. Um, but hopefully it was a bit better this time. Uh, the audio is all should be fine. And yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, will see you on Monday when I'll have a talking video on some sort of video essay for you. You'll see it then.